Dependency is another big D. And being dependent on other people for some needs here and there is okay. But it's when we get codependent, when we start determining how we feel based on how someone else behaves. When we allow other people's behavior to bring us joy and sadness in our life. Or when we are dependent on other people in order to get through life. Yes, it's good to have relationships and health, but it's that dependency that leaves us feeling empty. When we put all our eggs in one basket, one relationship, whether it's a significant other or a child or even a coworker, codependency steals from our ability to be independent. And being independent with the balance and support of others is great. But it's other people's behavior that start to make us sick, that becomes codependency. When a relationship ends and we feel like we've lost ourselves, that's codependency. Because healthy relationships are about being interdependent and choosing to come together. Maybe you don't see each other every single day. Maybe you don't do everything together. So that when you come together, you have more to talk about and celebrate. So for my life, I like to spend time with the people I love, but also to spend time with a variety of other people and to spend time alone, taking care of myself, working or reading or exercising. How do you stay healthy and independent in an interdependent world with interdependent relationships without becoming codependent at work, at home, and in your personal lives? I'm Annie, helping you remember that you too can overcome the big Ds, including dependency or codependency.